Hey guys, it's Drew Brashler with DBB Audio. I've been going over the X32 Mix app over the last couple weeks with some of the main tabs. Now today we're gonna to be diving into the Scenes tab. Now before I go too far, there's one big difference between the Mix app that we have and our Edit app that we have for the computer. Now the Mix app does not allow us to make a scene and save it to a USB drive and then load it to the console later. The X32 Edit app does. This Mix app actually has to be connected to a console to be able to use the scenes. Now we can save and load and edit the names of the scenes from our app, but we're not able to create a scene using just the app and load it onto the console. Another thing that's kind of a getcha here is that if our X32 is set up with the show control to be under cues or snippets, the Mix app is not gonna be able to adjust that. So if we have in a setup our show control set to cues, we'll actually have a message pop up on our iPad saying that it does not support cues or snippets. Kind of a bummer, but I mean, we can get around that. So um, I'm gonna switch this back to scenes here and let's just go ahead and start diving into the actual Mix app here. So if we look here, we can see that we have all of our scenes that we can scroll up and down and load here. And if we wanted to go ahead and load a scene, all we'd have to do is just click it and swipe this to the right. And now we can see that we have double or triple zero DBB audio zeroed here. And if I was wanting to change to a different scene, I can go ahead and click that and then swipe this to the right again. As soon as I let go, it changes to the next scene and it automatically goes and selects the next scene after that. So then we, if we were just going through our show and everything was set up right, then we could just drag it again and it would make the different scene. Now, if you accidentally went forward one scene and you weren't wanting to do that, you can go ahead and press this little undo button, press yes, and it will go back to the original settings that the board was on before you made the change. So let's go ahead and load up here and I'm going to swipe it, and now we're set up on show load here. Now I have show uh, song one, and I'm gonna go ahead and load that, and you'll see that the faders change here. Now if I was wanting to actually save a scene or overwrite a scene, and so I'm just gonna make some fader changes here, and I'm going to select the scene that I want to save onto, and then I can click edit, and then I can go and title in here. So I'm going to title this test one, and you can put notes in here as well. Once you're done with that, you can actually press save and it will ask you to confirm and then yes, and now I have this scene saved. Another thing that we can do is we can actually copy and paste scenes just like that. So now I've copied scene three into scene five, and if we go ahead and undo the edit button, we can see that my test one is copied to number five here. Another thing that we can do under the edit is actually rename stuff. So if we wanted to rename this to be song two, we can do that. When we unpress the edit button, it will save the name of that on that scene. Now, it doesn't actually change the scene itself, it just changed the title or the notes of that. Now, another thing that you can do under this edit is delete things. So we can delete our song two here, and now it is not there anymore. And then the last thing that we can do under this edit is we can change our um, scene safes. So you can go check out one of my other videos that I have on the scene safes, parameter safes, and channel safes. Make sure to check that out if you're not up to date with all the different safes that you can do with the board. So once we're done selecting our scene safes, we can undo the edit button and those are saved there. And so that's that. Now we also have our parameter safes um, available here. And if we were wanting to set any of the parameter safes, all we'd have to do is just open up this tab and then click the ones that we wanted to safe and then go on with our lives. Now the next thing that we're gonna talk about is channel safes. And we can click this button here and it'll pull up our channel safes. Now if you're uh, intuitive enough to notice that there is not all the channel safes here, here, you are correct. There's more options on the board than there are in this screen, and that's because there's a hidden scroll to our right. So if you notice that you 
don't have your options that you want to safe as far as the channels go, swipe to the right and then you'll have your mix buses, uh, mains, matrix, DCAs, and our effects slots. So that is a really quick run through of the scenes portion of the Mix app. I really wish that you could adjust cues and snippets. Unfortunately, there's just not the functionality for that yet. I don't know if there's ever going to be, but I can always cross my fingers. If you have any questions, feel free to post below. Otherwise, make sure you check out my blog post as I have a few little bit more information than just in this video. And lastly, make sure you subscribe to my channel as you'll be up to date with the most recent videos that I'm releasing on the X32. Thank you so much.